you all know that this segment is the part of the line. The fixed portion of a line is called the segment. But imagine that one, one side of the segment has an arrowhead. Then it will look like a ray. Yes, you got the concept. This ray is actually the vector. And in physics we say the quantity having magnitude as well as direction is called a vector. So vector is something which contains magnitude as well as direction. Properties of addition of vectors. When we add two vectors, what happens? Vector plus a vector is always a vector. So the very first property says that vector addition is closed. Closed means it obeys the closure law. That is, it is a binary operation. That if we add two vectors, the resultant also stays in the boundary of that definition. That is, vector plus a vector is also a vector. So, if I have vector A and I have vector B and I add them, so the new resultant vector will also be this, I call it a C, then C is also a vector. Hence, we say that vector addition is closed. This is the first property. The second property is, it is commutative. Commutative means A plus B is equal to B plus A. There is no concept of pre and post. I can add A by putting A before B or it could be the other way around. I can put B before A. The result will always be the same. Commutative law. For that, we need a parallelogram and you can see this is a parallelogram A, B, C, D. If we take vector A, B as A vector, D, C will automatically be that because opposite sides are equal and parallel in case of parallelogram. Same way, if we consider BC as vector B, then AD will be vector B, or if you take AD as B vector, then BC has to be AD. Now, to prove commutative law, we have to prove that A plus B vector is equal to B plus A vector we can go independently and then we can check the result. Okay. Case 1. I go from the direction of A plus B. That is, I choose triangle in triangle ABC. What is A vector plus B vector? It is AB vector plus a BC vector and the result is coming as AC vector. So if I take A before B, if I take A as pre vector and B as post vector, then my result is coming AC vector. Now, I go with the different direction and this time I consider B first. Then I have to choose triangle ADC not triangle ABC. Earlier we selected triangle ABC and we got AB vector plus BC vector as AC vector. So this time we have selected AD and then we'll go through DC. So in triangle ADC, B plus A vector is AD plus a DC, which is equal to AC. So in both the cases, from case 1 and 2, we are reaching to AC. This implies, from case 1 and case 2, this implies A plus B vector is equal to B plus A vector. Hence, we have proved the commutative law. The third is, 
it is associative. Associative means that if I add two vectors and then I add the third vector to it, the result will be the same if I add last two vectors and then add first to it. So, A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. So, the overall result on both the sides will remain the same. We have to prove associative law. So, we have taken a quadrilateral. We should not call it a parallelogram, nor a rectangle, nor a trapezium. This is just the quadrilateral. And three sides, we have taken them as AB vector as A vector, BC vector as a vector B, and CD vector as vector C. So now, uh, to prove A vector plus B vector plus C vector is equal to A vector plus B plus C vector. So once again, we'll take two cases. Case one, we'll take one side, we'll reach to a target. The resultant case two, we'll take another side, we'll take independent uh, addition and we'll get the resultant. If the resultants are same, we could say that we have proved the associative law. So case one, proof P double F, case one. I'm taking A plus B using the diagram, using this diagram. And in triangle ABC, because you can see that we are associated with AB vector and BC vector, so the triangle has to be ABC. So this is how can how you can also make out that which triangle is needed. ABC. In triangle ABC, A vector plus B vector is AB vector plus BC vector which is equal to AC vector. Now, after collecting AC vector, we will add AC with C. Let me try this. Now, now AC plus a CD. What is AC plus a CD? AC plus the CD is AD. So this is AD vector. So the result of the left hand side is AD vector. We initially took AB and then we took the resultant of AB to get the final answer. After adding that with C, we get the final answer as AD. Now we take case 2 where we independently take the other side and in that side we'll be needing B plus C first. Now what is B plus C? Yes, you need a triangle PCD. It is very simple to make out the triangle because B and C are associated with only triangle BCD. So in BCD we have B vector plus a C vector which is BC plus a CD which is BD vector now BD is done BD should be added with AB now what is AB plus a BD AB plus a BD is uh, A plus B plus C vector which is which is obviously uh, a vector plus b plus c vector this is the case in triangle a b d now because we are associated with a b and b d so the triangle has to be a b d in triangle a b d a b vector plus a b d vector which is the result of these two vectors a B vector plus a B D vector which is the result of B C vector plus a C D vector will be A D vector. A B plus B D is a, a D vector. So this is again a, a D vector. 
So from both the cases, we can see from case 1 and case 2, from case 1 and 2, we can see that uh, a plus b plus a c vector is equal to a plus b plus c vector. So this uh, confirms the associated law, hence the associated law. Next property, important property is the additive inverse. Minus a vector is the additive inverse of a because a plus of minus a is a null vector and whenever we add a vector to its additive inverse the result has to be the null vector, null vector being the identity. So now comes the identity additive identity zero vector or the null vector symbol is this o arrow is the additive identity Why? Because if you add null vector to any vector, the result will be that vector again. So, a vector plus a null vector is a vector. So, these are the important properties of addition of vectors.